In this video, I'll show you the BPMN creator prototype that I've created. So this allows you to create a BPMN diagram from one sentence. The reason why I created this is because when I was working as a business analyst, I often found it very difficult to get the first draft of a BPMN diagram created. But once I had that, it became quite easy to then refine it based on the information that I had from working with stakeholders on the given project or whatever it was that the diagram was trying to represent part of. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a BPMN diagram from one sentence. Then I'll show you how to create it with additional context from a meeting. And then I'll show you how you can try it yourself. So let's start with creating it from one sentence. So this is the tool here. And what I'm going to do is describe the process that I want to see, then click create, and then I'll see it down here. So let's take a process from a YouTube video. So this one here, the invoicing process in SAP Business One. So I go here and I paste in the name there and then I click here to create the BPMN diagram. So it takes up to 90 seconds to create the diagram, but I'll edit out the loading time from the video. Okay, so we can see it's created a first draft of a diagram here. So I'll just bring it into view here. And what I can do now is actually change the contents of it according to what I know from my conversations with business stakeholders. So let's say for example here, um, that I want to add a gateway. So I click here, bring it over here, and actually let's say it's from here, and the gateway is to ask if the order is approved or not. Um, so let's bring this here. Okay, so order approved. And then we can say, if it's not approved, cancel the order and then go to the end of the process. And I can also add a swim lane and do various other things that you can do with VPMN here. So let's just say generically that the role that performs this is called, let's say the invoice processor. So this BPMN creator has given a good jumping off point to actually create the diagram that's needed that is actually accurate. So that's the first bit of the demo, creating from one sentence. Now let's go to creating from a meeting. So we'll load a fresh page here and we'll do the same thing as last time, which is to take the title from here and put that in here. But now I'm going to take some context from what we'll call a meeting. So this in this video, this person describes the invoicing process. So let's imagine this was a meeting where this person described the process and we have a transcript of the meeting, which obviously is quite um, common nowadays within businesses um, that they're recorded. Obviously, you should do so with permission. Um, so let's paste that in, this in here, but this can be used in uh, mul there's multiple sources that you can actually get this text from. It might be, say, an RFP document or some sort of um, project outline uh, document. So I'll click this again, and now it has more context to create the diagram with. Okay, so this is created now, and at first glance it looks similar to the last one, but if I look a little bit, bit closer at it, there's one or two new things in it. So for example, here we have create credit notes. So let's just take credit note here and go back to the meeting, as I called it, and search the transcript for credit note. And here we can see that there was something specifically mentioned in this video or meeting about a credit note, and that's been reflected in the diagram here. So that's how to create uh, a BPMN diagram with meeting context. Um, finally, if you'd like to try this yourself, you can load the link in the bottom or uh, below this video. Uh, I'll put the link there afterwards. Or if you would just like to sign up for beta access to this as I develop it, then I'll share a link to a sign up form below the video as well, and you can put your email there. Thanks.